Jesus had 12 disciples who followed him and learned from him. Unfortunately, not all of them learned well. There was one disciple, Judas, who didn't learn from Jesus' example. Judas was a very greedy person. He was always thinking of ways he could cheat and get more money. One day, that greed led Judas to do a terrible thing. He went to the religious leaders, the Pharisees, and asked them, how much will you pay me to betray Jesus to you? What? He was gonna turn Jesus over to the Pharisees so Jesus could be crucified. Jesus was his mentor, his teacher, and his friend. Yet his greed led him to have such a selfish mind that he was willing to sell Jesus for 30 pieces of silver. <clears throat> the time came for Judas to do the job. He led the Pharisees to where Jesus was praying with the disciples in the Garden of Gethsemane. They brought soldiers in case there was any trouble. Judas walked up to Jesus and kissed him on the cheek. This was the sign he told the Pharisees he would give them to show them which person was Jesus. Once Judas kissed Jesus' cheek, the soldiers arrested Jesus. They took him to court and sentenced him to be crucified. All of this happened because Judas was full of greed. Judas ended up feeling bad about what he did. Judas took his own life as a result. It was a sad ending to his life. Often we think greed is not a big <laughs> of a deal. However, as we learned in our lesson today, the Apostle Paul listed along with some very dangerous and harmful sins in the book of Ephesians. Greed opens the door to living a life of selfishness. Selfishness leads to all kinds of sinful behaviors. That is why it is so important to get rid of greed in our lives. We must learn to act like Jesus in everything we do and say. Hi boys and girls, Pastor Anna here. Let's talk to God. You know the drill. Lord, I thank you that you're real. You're not some fairy tale. I pray you'd speak through me, Holy Spirit. We wanna know you more and we wanna be more like you because you're our dad, in Jesus' name, amen. All right, so we've been studying the book of Ephesians. Let's get real. Today, we're gonna talk about act like Jesus, right? Act like Jesus. I'm um, going to show you something, right? We need, we want to act like Jesus. We want to reflect who he is in the world so people can come to know God, right? Uh, so I'm going to show you a little something first. You know what this is, right? Money, money, money. money. Well, it's fake money, <laughs> but let's pretend it's real, right? Some people get confused about how important money and things money can buy is, okay? And when they are caring most about money or things they can get, it's called greed, guys. And greed is a sin and greed leads to a bunch of sins. So today we're gonna be talking, talking about how we can not be greedy and how we can act like Jesus. Like we saw in our story today, that greed led Judas to sell out Jesus. Can you believe that? And you know, it's not just because Judas did that. Jesus chose to give his life because Jesus could have called down a bunch of army of angels and said, take care of these guys. And they would have. But so Jesus chose to give his life, but Judas's bad choice led to that um, happening. And that's what greed does. It leads to a bunch of bad choices. And those bad choices just make us regretful and, and obviously not happy. Was Judas happy at the end of it with his silver? No, no, because money and stuff, guys, cannot make us happy. Um, for a moment, you know, it can make things easier, like um, if you have money, you know, because you can pay bills and you can buy things you need and th that. But it cannot bring happiness. There are people with a ton of money, billionaires that are empty that will tell you that they're not happy. There are people that have taken their own life like Judas did with lots of money, fame, power, everything you could think would make a person happy. And they took their own life because they weren't happy. Because guys, we were made to know God. That's why we were made. 
and we were made to be a part of what he does. And until that's happening in our lives, we're never going to be happy. But it's a lie of greed. The enemy tries to use, oh, if you get this, then you'll be happy. And I know you guys have known, learned like I did. Like I thought that, you know, I got, there was this video game I wanted. Oh, if I get that, then I'm going to be happy. You get the video game. Yeah, you play it. It's cool for a minute. And then, yeah, does it make you feel fulfilled? No. You want the next thing because that's what greed is. You want more and more and more and more and you're never satisfied because you never will be. (laughs) So how can we do this? How can we act like Jesus? First of all, A, A, avoid greed. In Ephesians 5, 3, Paul says, but among you, there must not even be a hint of any kind of impurity or of greed because these are improper for God's holy people. When we know God, we're his kids, we're his holy people, you know, we're his kids, we're part of his family. And um, and why is this? Because greed is a terrible way to live. And basically greed is selfishness when you're just looking out for yourself. And that is completely opposite of what God does. If Jesus was looking out just for himself, he would not have died on the cross, right guys? And he basically says that if we're going to follow him, that we need to live a life of basically denying this. Um, I got these two little examples here, denying our flesh, what we want and think and feel and doing what the Holy Spirit wants. And this is representing spirit. Okay. And once we come to know God, we talked about this in our last lesson, When we believe in Jesus, he puts his Holy Spirit in us and he basically makes us alive on the inside. So on the inside, we're like God. We want and think what God wants, but we still live in this body that has a sinful nature that wants to make bad choices and wants to look out for itself. So this represents the sinful nature of the flesh and this represents the spirit. And and the Bible says they're constantly battling. The flesh wants to say, I want three pieces of cake. And the spirit's like, no, just eat one piece of cake to make sure that there's other cake for other people. The the flesh says, no, I'm going to cheat on on that so I can get more money. And the spirit's like, no, that is sinful. We we do what's right. We speak truth. We don't cheat because we want to honor God. And they're constantly battling, okay? And when the sinful nature wins, we sin. When the spirit wins, woo, we follow in God. And it says that following God is a, a life that is full of life and peace. When we live in the sinful nature, following what the sinful nature wants and thinks, then it leads to death and unhappiness, like we saw what happened to Judas, right, in the story. And um, so we want the spirit to win in our life. And how can we do that? By drawing close to God. We talked about this in our life. Guys, if you fall in love with Jesus, you're going to be close to him. You're going to know he's there. He's going to be helping you. You're going to be seeing him. You're going to not want to follow this because I mean, think about if you could see Jesus with your regular eyes and if he was in the room with you and you're tempted to go steal a cookie that aren't yours. Um, Are you going to do it if you could actually see Jesus with your regular eyes and see him there? No, you're not going to do it because you're going to feel that. Well, when you're close to God and spending time with him, praying to him, talking to him, reading his Bible, renewing your mind with that, It's going to be, you can sense that he's in the room, even though you won't be able to see him with your regular eyes. And because you love him and you're acting out of this, you're not going to follow that. Go steal that cookie. Yeah. Go, go, um, whatever, whatever greedy thing to get more. You're not going to follow this flesh. No. (laughs) We're going to follow the spirit. We avoid greed. Um, The next one is clean up your actions. And um, basically, when we fall in love with God and he comes to know us, God washes us clean of all the bad choices and and gives us a new desire. And so, guys, if you do fall and stumble and do that, what do we turn, turn clean? We repent. We turn from that bad action. We ask for forgiveness and we follow, keep following God. We talked about that last week. Sometimes we are going to blow it. 
and we gotta clean up, ask for forgiveness. That's how we get cleaned up and we turn from that sin and keep following God and do whatever we can to make it right. So if you stole something, give it back. If, if you already ate it, then buy a new one and replace it. Do whatever you can to, to repay, you know, and then keep following God. And the last one, T, there must not be a hint of sin. There must not be a hint of sin, which means, because sometimes people might say, you might have heard this before, oh, well, it's just a little lie. It's just a little one. I mean, it's just a, I'm just taking one cookie that's not mine. I mean, it's nothing wrong with having a cookie. I eat cookies, guys. I like, I love chocolate. Let me just tell you, chocolate's my thing. I'm not as into like the hard candies and stuff. I love chocolate. But we don't take what does not belong to us. That's greedy or more, you know, than we're supposed to. Or doing things. Because see, greed is not only sin, it can lead to other sins. Because if we're greed, if we're letting greed control us, then we are going to steal. Then we are going to lie because it's more important to us to get the stuff and the money than it is following God. So even little ones, guys, little ones, little ones, it all, it all separates us from God. We don't want any of it. We want to follow the spirit. So guys, if you have, maybe you've been living like that. Maybe you thought that was, you know, what we were supposed to live like, get as much as you can. And, and here's the thing. God knows we're all going to die, guys. Spoiler alert, we all die. And can we take any of this with us when we die? Even though it's fake money. No! It's like the game. It all goes back in the box. We don't get to take it to heaven with us. The Bible actually talks about store treasure in heaven. And what does that mean? Can I like throw this up in heaven <laughs> and catch it there? No. <laughs> nope, it does not do that. What that means is use your money, your time, your talent, your effort to do things that are going to help people go to heaven, right? And draw closer to God. So when you're doing that, you're storing treasure in heaven because those people are going to be in heaven partly because of what you did with what you had, okay? And, and there's nothing compared to knowing God, guys, and being a part of what he does. And we can use the things we have to help people come to know God. We can give to missionaries. We can help feed the homeless. And then we can tell them about Jesus. There's so many ways you can use what you have. And the Bible actually says it's better to give than to receive. And partly we can't understand that. But guys, it's true. It is so true. If you think about it, think about the best gift you ever got and then think about the best gift you ever gave, which made you feel better, giving or getting. It's giving, isn't it? It is, because that's the way God wired us when we know him. Guys, so, so, you know, if you've blown it, turn from it. Repent. Ask God for forgiveness. Get back on track. Following the Spirit. Stick as close to Jesus as you can, and that's going to help. And it's so awesome being near him, hearing him, following him. He's real, guys. Let's pray. We need help. We need help against this body. <laughs> Lord, Please, please, please forgive us right now of anything we've done that's made you sad, that's grieved you. Wash us clean with your, your, the blood of Jesus, we pray. Forgive us and help us to follow you. Help us to follow your spirit. Help us make time to spend time with you and, and help us see the greed, God, so we can turn from it. Be like a woo-woo, like a fire detector, a greed detector. Help us sense when we're acting that way and quickly ask for forgiveness and turn from it and follow you. Help us to live a life unto you. Not greedy, but laying down our lives and doing what you want. And we know, help them see God, but it's so much better. It's not like really, like really, we think we're giving up something, but we get so much more because nothing compares to you, God. Reveal yourself to us more, we pray. Let my friends know you, hear you, help us follow you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray, amen. Okay, I think I can do this with two now. Let's see. Ooh. You know what? Just throw them at me. Everything you got. Okay, oh, bye. Well, see you next time, boys and girls. I'll have to work on my balloon juggling. Hey, friend.
friends, I wanted to ask you, will you please like this video by clicking the thumbs up? And please hit the subscribe button if you like it. Then you can get all our videos. And also, can you feed me a worm, please? Thank you.